Hey guys, welcome back to the Man Cave with Big Kev. Thank you very much for tuning in. A really exciting video for you guys for me to do. And we're going to go over the Spyderco Wolf Spider. I really hope to get a really in-depth video of this because you just don't see them on YouTube. So let's get into it. Let's start off with the scales. So these are OD Green G10 scales. They feel really nice in the hand. Even though this handle looks a little bit clunky and a little bit sharp on the, on the edges there, it is a super comfortable knife to use. Uh, it fits into your hand just perfect. And even this belt clip here really helps it to fit in your hand. And I've sort of got medium sized hands, so Maybe someone with bigger hands would find it a little bit more difficult, but mine fits perfectly in here. And you can see the tip of the handle comes out there past my little finger. So I've got really nice grip on there and I feel quite safe to use it. And for such a sharp blade, you want to feel safe using it. Now that's not an original belt clip. Uh, the Spyderco one is right here. The clip that he's got on this one here is a deep carry MXG. Uh, he just wanted it to fit further down in his pocket than what the Spyderco would allow. So he's just changed that over. So still a really nice clip and it feels very nice in the hand. I've used this myself to whittle down my walking stick. And I tell you what, the knots in that wood just fell off with this knife. It was fantastic. I I can't rave about this knife enough. It's superior to anything that I've ever held in my hands before. Stainless steel liners. We've got all the hardware on this thing is stainless steel. So your screws, your pins, your lanyard hole, everything's stainless steel. Now it's said to be the bush crafting knife. So it's designed for processing game and all other tasks that are around your campsite for wherever you are. So. It is only a folder, so don't go beating it with sticks or anything, but it is super durable. I've used it before, and it's just a superior knife. Also, the stainless steel is going to help with rust prevention as well, so if you do process game, it's really going to help you to clean this thing up, and you're not going to have to worry about it rusting. Up the top here, we've got some thumb jimping on the G10, so it's really nice in the hand, and when you extract the blade, it's also got thumb jimping on that as well and it's got very nice grip there it's gonna really aid in preventing your hand from slipping and potentially doing yourself some damage i really think that spyderco nailed it with these holes i know i just <laughs> blasphemy a lot of people don't like these but i absolutely love it the well, main reason is because if i pull out the charade it's got this thumb notch. Now, the thumb notch is good, but it does prevent me from sharpening on the landski all the way to the back of the blade because this protrudes and gets in the way. So, just another nice feature there with the Spyderco hole. It's synonymous with Spyderco, so you're not going to get a knife with one of these ugly bloody lumps in it. Going over to the blade itself, um, the meat in the sandwich, we've got, I've got a little bit of a list over here because there's just so much to go through. So if you see me staring away, that's what it is. And it is what it is. <laughs> so, okay. We have CPM S30V stainless steel. This stuff is super great for edge retention. Stupid edge retention. I hacked away at my hardwood walking stick with this thing. And I tell you what, it just it just didn't let go. It was fantastic. So really nice edge retention. The cutting edge is 70 millimeters. Uh, the opening length of it is 172 millimeters. It is 106 millimeters closed, 3.2 millimeters thick, and it weighs 77 grams. So this blade has ball bearing retention, so when you release the compression lock, it's not gonna fall down. So 
it is a little bit awkward to use with closing with one hand. Opening is fine, but closing it with one hand gets a little bit difficult. So you just put your compression lock in, give it a flick, and then you're done. So not quite as easy as the Paramilitary 2, which is an absolutely fabulous knife as well, but that one is just, you put that compression lock in and you can do this for days. But super smooth action, that's an another video to go through all right guys so Dane has put his own little sort of micro convex edge on this one because he sharpens his knives with stones so we're gonna do a bit of a paper test here then we're gonna hack up a bit of hardwood and then we're gonna see whether or not it holds up so here we go and I'll tell you what this thing just slices through paper like it doesn't even exist. <laughs> Look at that. Just, you could split hairs. All the way to the tip all the way to the base. I could do that for hours, but I'm not going to. Now let's just put that over there. Let me grab a stick. So I grabbed this one, I found this one for my son because he wanted a walking stick. So let's go and start hacking into this and see how the edge fares up. That is stupid sharp, stupid tough. Stripping bark. And then you can get into some finer stuff. Just rest that on my foot there. Get some nice push going, some nice control. Let's get into a knot. Just get our thumb, just start carving that knot. Oh my god, it just eats it for dinner. Let's get into this bigger one. This is seriously a monster of a knife, guys. So tough, so durable. I really hope that this thing slices back through that paper like it did before. I think that'll do. Alrighty. Let's get our paper. Just as good as it was before. So there you go, guys. Like, just with that little bit of work there, 
I don't know how long I could go all day with that until it dulled down, but I don't want to do it to him. <laughs> Make a mess in the man cave while I'm at it. I've got one more test to do, guys, and that's going to be the last paper to cut test. I've seen this done from a guy on Instagram, and uh, bastard beads and strops. There you go, shout out. Go and check him out on Instagram. Gets his knives stupid sharp. All right, here we go. Oh, will it do it? Oh, it's buckled. There we go. There you go. <laughs> wow, that is just mental sharp. Well, that's it, guys. That's the Ray Mears addition to the Spyderco Wolf Spider. What a great knife, guys. I just can't get over how good this thing is. I'm going to have to get one for myself. I just got to. So thank you very much for watching this video, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. There's only one video of this knife out on YouTube, so I'm hoping to get this out so that you can see more in-depth uh, vision of this thing. We're going to get some close-ups for you right at the end there, so stick around. And uh, <clears throat> don't forget to check me out on Facebook and Instagram as well. Give me my Facebook page a like. Follow me on Instagram. Just the extra behind the scenes sort of stuff. Thank you very much for tuning in. And until the next video, see you later.